My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. I cannot believe I'm holding these in my hands right now. I got one. Oh. Got one. Got it. Size five. The same error happened to me though earlier. Got a size six. Let's go. Sneakers day for Europe just finished. Maybe about like. 40 to 50 minutes ago and I was having a lot of trouble because I had to leave like basically right when all the juicy stuff was happening but essentially what happened at 3 a.m. was that we had to find a golden hang tag and there was a bunch of us trying to find it trying to help each other out overall the drops suck okay so from what I understand if you find the golden hang tag you will have the opportunity to access the grail drop the person that was on the voice chat with us said that he found the golden hang tag and then they never revealed what shoe he got. Some people speculated that it was the Travis Scott's but I don't think so. I couldn't even go for a lot of it because I wasn't at home. I was literally in the cab as things were starting to heat up. So it's all good. We're about to fly out in a few hours. Catch you later. are here when we touched down I took a look at my flight club account and I had almost 2k in balance it seems like a lot of the shoes that I dropped off ended up selling so here is the profit list you can see it on the screen right now but as of right now these prices are very very good so I'm quite happy about that anyways there is a very important drop today the kith coca-cola collaboration they are going to be dropping some very limited converse which i will be going for and being that i only have one display at the moment i am currently only working off of a laptop i have decided to throw all of my eggs in one basket and that will be kodai i have to admit this is a very 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 good basket However, it can be a bit risky. The reason why I normally run multiple bots is because some bots works and some bots don't. But historically, Kodai has been the absolutely best bot that has been working recently for Kith. That is the reason why I am doing what I'm doing. I might regret it or it may pay off very well. I'm currently setting up. Hopefully I do well on this drop. I'll see you then. Nope, it's live. Yep. Dude, security code not matched by processor. What do you mean? Are you on a privacy card or like? Yeah, on a privacy here? card. Oh, that's all. These links not working. Pretty sure checkout links aren't working. Checkout links aren't look working. They're putting you back in the queue. Yeah, it's doing the same thing that Easy Supply did. I got one submitting billing. Kid uses Shopify Plus, so they're getting they have. Uh, Okay, finally, I got one. Manual. Nice. Nice. Really? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Try going through PayPal. Alright, so I decided not to use any other bots except for Kodai. It looked like 
that was not the move. Anyone who had Kodai knew the struggle. A lot of people just weren't able to pick up the product at all. So Cyber was the move. I did not use Cyber, unfortunately. I was able to scoop up a size eight and a half, which is selling for about $650. Pretty nice profit. Anywho, we have a package to open. I already did an unboxing for these in the previous episode, but just in case you didn't see it, here it is now. Nothing too special, no heel tab. Uh, 3M laces. Uh, the thing about these shoes is that they kind of break on stock X, however on Flight Club you'd still be able to make like 10 to $15, so I don't mind having these. Jordan 1 UNC's are going to be dropping on Nike sneakers. However, I missed the UK drop because I was editing a 20 minute video for like 17 hours straight and my alarm was not making me budge from my sleep, unfortunately. Except I fucked up in BNB and I put a six and a six and a half and I don't think they're dropping. Says Adidas.com from from England. Gotta use a VPN to US. <laughs> oh yeah, I could I could do that. Uh -huh. How early did you start? Um, I started when it dropped. You started when it drops and you're getting past them shits already. Hell yeah. Hang on, let me check my shits. He's a size. Oh wait, no. I'm copying a seven and a half right now. I'm about to cut this eight and a half just to see How about that. It is. No, it's not. What's not? My payment can't be processed for technical reasons. All right. The Kith X Sprite collab is going to happen in about four minutes. I originally wasn't going to go for these because usually Kith are big bricks, but. I was given some inside information by Shuplex that the stock was going to be unbelievably low, like super duper low. I'm kind of going ham on this. I'm going to be using Cyber and Kodai, the two bots that work super well on Kit recently. I'm going to put my trust in Shuplex and go for them. <laughs> it wasn't that funny, but I don't know. You made it yeah. not funny. <laughs> yeah. I got one. Well, like long hey, Kodai. Kodai held it down for me. Okay, so I was able to cop two black t shirts, and I'm really glad that my tasks didn't check out all at once because I was solving captures like crazy. And I was able to check out two, and I had a chance to stop my tasks before I was checking out anymore. As far as resale value, I'm really not sure to be honest. Even if it breaks, if worse comes to worse, I'll lose like maybe $20, $30. But anyways, as for the releases today, I was so underprepared. I had less than 10 minutes to set up, which is basically when the Yeezy Supply Password page went up. However, I was still able to get away with one Wave Runner. I'm very happy that I got one and I'll take it. It seemed like a lot more items that I listed on Flight Club before I went out here sold. And also here are a few updates from some of the more questionable releases that I went for. For the Yeezy 700s, they're going to be dropping a little bit later today. I do expect those to break. Uh, it depends on how much stock they put out, but I'm expecting a lot of stock to be put out. So it's kind of a blessing and a curse that I was underprepared for that Yeezy 700 drop because if I was prepared, then I would have gotten a lot more pairs that I probably didn't need and that I probably wouldn't make a lot of money on to begin with. And for the Sprite 
kit collaboration i do make like a few dollars like nothing crazy i don't think it was worth going for it but i am happy that they didn't break and i'm happy that i didn't get too many of them Jordan 1 bread toes are going to be dropping in about 3 minutes. This has got to be one of the most important releases of the month, so I'm really hoping to get these. I do find the shoe to be very beautiful, so hopefully we can get at least one of these. What the hell's going on? I'm solving like tons of captures. So what's that like that? Uh, basketball back what website is that for? Size previews. Oh, I got one. No, no, what? On size? size previews. Yeah, Oh my god, so many captures. Yeah, I got three so far from size previews. No, no way. Yeah. What? What am I doing wrong? I, I don't get it. No way. Oh, I didn't get any from. Oh, I, it's not. It wasn't a draw. It wasn't Alright, so I got three so far. This is a website that likes to cancel a lot. I remember the last time I cooked on size previews, I think I got 10 or 13 Yeezy Antlias. And out of all of those orders, only three didn't get canceled. Hopefully none of them get canceled. That would be a dream, but we'll just have to see. Dude, I just got seven, eight order confirmations. Holy shit, dude, I cooked! 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 checkouts on Pam Pam London, bro. Can't fucking go me, I got so many. We are at 13 so far. 13 checkouts. Oh, I got submitting billing on Hibet for one of my tasks on Cyber. Damn, error submitting billing. I was able to check out a lot more pairs than I expected, but the cancellation emails did come in. So I'm going to go over how many pairs I really think I'm going to get after the sponsored message. If you want to start buying and selling sneakers yourself, joining a Discord or Slack cook group is an excellent first step to get started. Here you get site lists, guides, monitors, and important information to help you cop limited items. I'm part of a lot of groups, but AK Chefs is one of the ones that stood out to me the most. Not only do they have incredible information, monitors, and staff members, but they also have an iOS bot that can be accessed for free, as long as you're a member of AK Chefs. Many groups keep their memberships limited and don't restock that often to keep information exclusive and to ensure that their group members have the best possible chances of copying. But if you're interested in joining AK Chefs, they are currently running a giveaway for two memberships on their Twitter, which will be linked in the description of the video. I also suggest that you turn on post notifications for them so that when they do restock, you'll get notified right away. Check those guys out, they are an awesome group. So anyways, if I remember correctly, I was able to check out 3 times on Size and 9 times on Pam Pam London. I was expecting all of my orders from Size to get cancelled because the last time I ordered from Size, almost all of my orders got cancelled. Only one of the three orders got cancelled 
and the other two orders already came in. They are sitting behind me and I will do an unboxing for them. For my other orders, that is a little bit of a different story. It seemed that they actually have somebody combing through all of the orders and canceling any duplicates. I got eight refund notifications. The best case scenario is that I get two of those orders to go through. What I'm expecting is at least one of those Pam Pam orders to go through. So I'm really expecting to have three shoes in my hands after everything is said and done. But if I can get lucky, then we will have a total of four of these Jordan 1 satins. Update, two of my orders from Pam Pam London actually shipped out. So that will be a total of four Jordan 1s that will be in my hands. I'm very happy about that. So how do they look in hand? Let's check them out right now. This one is a size six and a half. This is shiny. Leather quality is super good, very, very good. And the tongue has a very, very light tint of blue. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it's there. Super good quality. Jordan 1s always look amazing, especially in colorways like these. What's this? Bro, why would they do that? Why would they just put a piece of tape around the shoe like that? I guess to prevent it from falling out but still come on now if i take this out and the box comes with it i would be super upset i'm gonna give it a try oh and this is a size nine how much is this going for i'm gonna check so the size six and a half is going for 730 dollars and the size nine is going for 725 dollars oh my gosh yo all right let's hope i don't damage this box I was able to successfully remove the tape. Problem is, some of that sticky adhesive got onto the box, so now this is going to be a dirt magnet, and I don't like that because I like my boxes to be pristine. Like, it really wasn't necessary. You didn't do it with the other shoes. How come you gotta do it to these? So I've done quite a number of releases while I'm over here in England, and I do have to say, the timing works out so much better. This is one of those releases where if I was still in New York, I would have to wake up at 3 a.m. and then there would be another drop at 8 a.m. and then there would be more drops at 9 and then maybe some at 10 and then some at 11 and then you have to wait throughout the entire rest of the day to see if there are any shock drops. However, I did not really have to worry about that with this kind of time zone. The drop started at 8 a.m. So I wasn't feeling like total crap like I normally do during those super early drops. Definitely had me a lot more focused. So this week will be the first week of Supreme if I'm not mistaken. And then after that a little bit later on we have some Yeezys coming out. And then some more Jordan 1's. Let's see how I do on those in the next episode.